All right, today we're gonna have a video on how to install um, CM9 Beta 1, which just got released here. And this is gonna be how to install it uh, on top of your stock um, operating system here running 2.3.4 Android. So let me get into some of the stuff on this. So first we're gonna go to settings and about phone and we want to make sure here under Android version I know you can't see it my phone's way too bright but under Android version we might want to make sure that we say 2.3.4 so as long as you have that there then um, the other thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have access so you need to scroll in here and have super user installed with root access but if you don't have um, root then this won't work so uh, just make sure you have red access, make sure your battery is fully charged, um, and uh, we'll show you here. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to install the normal um, bootstrap recovery app, which I have installed, and it should be right here. It's called System Recovery, so we're going to tap on that. And then you're going to go through the directions here, it says on the screen. And again, this is the normal one because we're on stock. If you are on CM9 or CM7 or any of those other ice cream sandwich ROMs that are out there right now, you will need to be using the patch bootstrap recovery. Um, but we are on a normal operating system stock so or gingerbread, so we will be using the normal one. So we're going to go in here, we're going to hit install, and it's going to ask super user rights. So this also proves that you have super user because it asked for it. So we're going to hit allow. Next thing says OK. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our plug that's plugged into a wall charger and we're going to plug it in. And then the next thing it says is to re hit, hit the recovery mode button. So this is going to boot us into clockwork mod recovery. From here we're going to flash um, the CM9 uh, Beta 1 that just got released and the ice cream sandwich uh, apps or G apps. And then we will boot up and that'll be it. You'll be up and running. So let me just go through it. Also, we're going to do some uh, wiping of etch and data and all those kind of things. Um, also recommended that we come in here and when you open this up, you go ahead and make an Android backup of your operating system in case you don't like CM9. So what you do if you're going to make a backup is you'd scroll down with your volume buttons here. And you go to backup and restore and you select it. Then you'd select external, because that's where I like to keep all my backups on my external SD card. Then you'd select that, and then you'd hit backup. That's going to take 15 minutes, and then it'll be back to this screen, and then you can hit back. And then we'll be back to your main screen. So backup's good. If you ever need it, you can boot back into this clockwork mod recovery here, and, um, and you'll be able to restore that. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to want to we're going to install the... Uh, CM9 beta. So first thing we want to do is we want to do um, wipe data factory reset. So we're going to select that one and we're going to scroll down where it says yes, delete all user data. And we're going to let this thing format data and then it's going to format uh, cache, which is done. And we're going to scroll down here to wipe cache partition and we're going to select it. We're going to scroll down to say yes, wipe cache, select it. Last thing we're going to do is go to advanced on the bottom down here, select that, and then wipe Delvic cache, select that, and then hit yes, wipe. All right, so those three things are wiped. That means your phone is ready now to install. Um, you're gonna go back here, go back to the main screen. Uh, we're ready now to install CM9 uh, Beta 1. So it's already, should be already put on your external SD card. And we're going to go down here to where it's at, install zip from SD card, and we're going to select it. Then we're going to scroll down one and where it says choose zip from SD card, select that. And then mine is in my CM9 folder, that's where I put it. Yours might be in downloads, wherever you have it. Um, so CM9, and then I'm going to scroll until I see, where is it at here? CM9 2012. August 14th unofficial that's the, the newest one so we're gonna hit select and then I say yes I want to install it so go down to yes and then select it again with power button alright so once this thing installs all we have to do after this is um, install the Google Apps which I will show you next so I'm gonna let this pause for a second while we install the Google Apps or while we install the ROM and come back to the video alright so 
our ROM has installed. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to go down one and we're going to say choose zip from SD card. And we're going to select that. And then we're going to scroll down to my CM9 folder again. Select that. And then we're going to go down to Google Apps or G Apps Ice Cream Sandwich, which are from April 29th. And we're going to select those. And then we're going to select Yes, install them. All right. So if you guys um, haven't rooted or don't have any of these files to do this, I will try to put links in my description on all of it. All right, so that's done. So um, I'll have a link to how to root your phone. Um, I'll have a link to the Google Apps, to the ROM, uh, to Bootstrap, Normal, and Patch, whichever one you're using. So we'll try to put all that in there for you. So then uh, we're going to hit Go Back because the G gap's finished. And then the last step here is Reboot System Now. So we're going to reboot. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this for now. And we should reboot up here. So let's give it a sec to boot up and see what we got, guys. I'm going to pause it again here, so uh, we'll come back to it once it boots up. Probably first boot may take up to 5 to 10 minutes, so be patient for it. All right, guys. We just went through the um, uh, freaking setup. So your you know, Wi-Fi and your Google account and everything. This is what we come up to then. And here we go. So... That's your basic uh, basic look. And if you guys haven't seen CM9 before, this is uh, your, your interface here. Um, once you're in CM9, I would recommend to uh, see if I have a file browser here or not. Doesn't look like I do. Get a fire file browser. Go ahead and I have my patch CM9, or patch bootstrap recovery. Uh, in, uh, on my on my SD card and I would go ahead and install that and then use that from now on because uh, you can't use the other one it'll make you basically go into a brick if you use it uh, on CM9 so make sure if you're going to use bootstrap you're going to use the new patch bootstrap so this is pretty much your look of it um, I think the only features that's different between this and Alpha 5 are some bug fixes and um, yeah, pretty much some bug fixes is all I understood from what I understood. Just some little bugs and tweaks on it to make it run a little bit better. Uh, I think Netflix still doesn't work, so you're not going to have that unless you have a different kernel. Um, so things like that. But very smooth, very fast, uh, very nice uh, operating system here, nice ROM. So that's pretty much the install on it, guys. Um, you know, if you have any questions, uh, check. You know, hit me up on the comment section. I'm sure I'll respond to them. And uh, Make sure you guys check the description for links to everything and XDA thread and everything like that. So subscribe if you can. Thanks, guys.